Hey guys, today we are going to talk about is deleting the video about CoffeeZilla on Logan Paul's channel. Not the podcast. The podcast may be deleted at a later time, but Logan Paul obviously spent a lot of time making the CoffeeZilla video. It was about 7 minutes, maybe a little less than 8 minutes. He dressed up as CoffeeZilla. He had funny pictures of CoffeeZilla in various stages of defamation, if you will. And clearly, he was very passionate about that video. That video dropped right before the impulsive interview. And then he dropped his prime video. So in between, the it was CoffeeZilla video, impulsive interview. About half the video was about CoffeeZilla. The other half was about George and his religion. And then the prime video of KSI dropped almost immediately after. Typically speaking, you do not want to delete videos. Uh, the reason that you don't want to retract them is you do have a core fan base who, interestingly enough, they do support Logan Paul still. There are the few people who are upvoting the video. There are some comments supportive of Logan Paul saying he did nothing wrong, that he is not a scammer, and CoffeeZilla is the real scammer. I'm sure that you guys have seen those comments. Uh, the ratio of dislikes to likes are about 5 to 1 last time I checked before the video got taken down. The reason that you do not want to backtrack is you lose that a portion of that audience of fans now realize that, hey, this guy's deleted the video. We were there supporting him, and now the video's gone. So it is, in their mind, kind of a discrepancy, right? So if Logan Paul was innocent, why did he delete the video? And even they, so there are two groups. One group is going to be on CoffeeZilla side against Logan Paul. The other group will be for Logan Paul's side against CoffeeZilla. And on the Twitter, you could see a lot of people were definitely on Logan Paul's side. They were sucking up, in my opinion, sucking up to Logan Paul, saying, oh man, Logan Paul, you're so great, and CoffeeZilla is this menace. Well, you lose that audience. The audience that was going to fight for you, they have now essentially got their video deleted on your channel by a decision by Logan Paul. There is speculation, again, I will just say that there is speculation that Logan Paul had not contacted an attorney before making that video. That would seem strange to me. Logan Paul is very familiar with attorneys. Uh, I'm sure he has an attorney on retainer. A retainer means that he paid for the attorney before, and the attorney is essentially going to bill against the money that was prepaid. One thing that Logan Paul could have been doing was uh, people have mentioned that the Zach guy, or the Z, that might be a legal issue because Logan Paul mentioned uh, his criminal records, which may not have been public. So remember, CoffeeZilla, the developer Z, was never mentioned. His name was never mentioned, and obviously his criminal record was never mentioned. Logan Paul may have doxxed him in his attempt to shame the developer he himself hired. The next one would be Logan Paul's manager, Jeff, and saying this is illegal. It may not be illegal. It depends on the state. Now, people tell me CoffeeZilla is from Texas. I don't know what state he's from. Whether or not you can record a... Conversation depends on the state, both parties, so it's state dependent. I'm assuming Logan Paul's manager is in California, but I don't know. Maybe Logan Paul's in Puerto Rico. Maybe the manager's in Puerto Rico. Uh, when, where did a phone call take place? There is, before commenting on this, it would be actually a very easy thing for me to comment on. I would want confirmation what state. CoffeeZilla is in and what state Jeff was in when he took that phone call or when the phone call was recorded and what is their state of residence 
what is the cell phone number. It's not as easy as you guys think. There is case law around it. But if you can provide me that in the comments below or anyone can contact me via email, who knows, I would love to then go obviously make another video about it and explain this type of law. Next, I just, you know, in my experience, when you backtrack, you really do lose that portion of the audience who is hanging in there with you. I mean, it's like rallying the troops and the troops have to be, the troops are now fired up and they're inspired to protect Logan. And then he kind of Fs them over <laughs> because by deleting the video, he is, it is a, a mission. It's almost like law, right? You don't want to delete evidence. So when you made the video and you made claims against CoffeeZilla, clearly something is wrong with the video. Now, is it as simple as, oh, you got a lot of dislikes and that's why? No, Logan Paul is the type of guy who I don't believe really is that concerned about the comments and dislikes. As long as he's getting attention, he's fine. And definitely he has attention from this. There's no doubt in my mind he is... Uh, this is a net positive to his brand. Because what is his brand, really? I'm, this is kind of the discussion about character that we had from from the first video I made. Is how do you defame somebody who is lo as, who has the character as Logan Paul? Especially on a project like CryptoZoo. How do you defame somebody when the person is saying, Oh, these people are lying. I would know because <laughs> I hired them. Uh, it, it just, it kind of boggles my mind, right? Like, why would... So, CoffeeZilla's evidence is coming from the developer Z. It's coming from Jake, or Crypto King, or Collectible Gurus. The fact that he has three different names should tell you everything you need to know about him. Uh, he also scammed dumb money for the first edition base, char uh, base Pokemon box. That was a very famous live stream where... It turned out that it wasn't a real box. It was open on live stream. And then Jake made a fake. But regardless, I mean, that's that's bad enough. And then Eddie Abenaz, I mean, this guy who thinks he went to MIT. When you lie about what college you went to, yeah, you probably lied about everything on your resume, which it turned out this guy did. These are the these are th this is the evidence CoffeeZilla is using, and you're like, wow, CoffeeZilla's evidence is so bad. He didn't do a background check on them. And if he only did a background check, he would know they're criminals. <laughs> it's like, wait a second. <laughs> are, aren't these the people you hired? So I'm still trying to get past that point. I just I, I just don't think you can defame Logan Paul in this situation. Because he hired a bunch of criminals. It's like, how else could you betray it? Oh, okay, so the best case scenario in Logan Paul is he did not know him and his manager, Jeff, were above board. And they were trying to run the business as best as they could. But then look at the people he hired. Even Logan Paul admits, and maybe this is why the video had to get taken down. Logan Paul is accusing and maybe defaming Crypto King. I, as crazy as this sounds, right? He's saying that CoffeeZilla's research about these characters was correct. And he doesn't trust them. And he even goes past, you know, for the developer Z, he goes past the fact that he fled to the point that he might be, he, he accuses him of being a criminal. And has, you know, a picture of him in an orange suit while doxing his name so but these are the people you hired logan i mean i, I just can't get past that fact I, I don't think any judge or jury is going to look at that and say you know what logan you're right he did defame you he was relying on unreliable evidence those witnesses were just unreliable they'll say anything it's like yeah 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 they probably would so in conclusion, when you delete and when you backtrack, you so you definitely show weakness. And the people who d dislike you, the people who believe that you're wrong, they're never going to change their mind. This is only more evidence that Logan Paul is in the wrong. 
but your own fans, your hardcore fans, the ones that are in the comment sections, and these very comment sections, if you will, fighting and saying, hey, Logan Paul is legit, and he didn't scam anyone, he didn't take any money, those are the arguments I see. They have to come to terms with, okay, if that is the case, then why did he delete the video? What in that video that Logan Paul... I mean, obviously, it was an edited video. Obviously, there were images of CoffeeZilla in various face shapes, if you will. Uh, that took some time. And it was a very passionate video, which then he talked about in a pot. He followed it up in a podcast, almost like a double attack, right? Let's make the attack video, and then let's make the podcast. What in that video do you believe, leave me a comment below, is the reason Logan Paul deleted it? Was it the doxing? Was it the criminal allegations to the developer? Was it uh, Crypto King, something to do with Crypto King? Or was it the fact that he actually talked to a lawyer and the lawyer said, no, this is not going to work. We cannot say this stuff. Let me know in the comments below. Bye, guys.